Hello guys, how are you? I am Mahindra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I will show you one of the my client website is not displaying correctly in admin side. If you can see here, this is the login page of WordPress admin panel and uh, you can see it is not displaying correctly. And uh, if I go to the login and uh, if you can see this dashboard and how it is looking, it is not displaying correctly. Seems like uh, CSS is not loading or any other issue. So today I have got this task and I need to solve this issue. So to do this, first uh, I have already logged into the control panel and uh, I will see which file I need to check. So let me first open this htaccess file to see. Okay. Okay. Let me again back to the folder listing and uh, let me open this index.php because this both file was latest updated file August 26 August 26 okay no problem let me open it to edit mode oh there is malicious code seems like okay this index.php should have only this code if you can see I have selected this code this code should be only be available in this file but uh, this is the code which should not be available here so it seems like it is malicious code or uh, somebody have Check at this site. Okay. Let me again check for this WP includes folder and uh, I am going to open this folder and here if you can see dot htaccess file it is also updated on August 26. Okay. Let me open okay okay no problem okay going back to the public underscore html folder and uh, we'll do open wp dash admin folder And here is also one htaccess file which is updated on 26 August. Okay, I am going to open it on edit mode. Okay, here is the some htaccess code. Okay, no problem. Going back. Going to check other folder. Images CSS include. Okay, no problem. It is not latest updated. Again going to public HTML. Selecting WB Days content folder and uh, going to open it. And uh, here is also one htaccess file. Let me open it to see. Okay. No problem. Going to back and uh, let me open this plugins folder okay no problem doing open it okay okay no problem let me first Check this file, I think it is latest 
upload a plugin but i don't think this plugin have any issue okay let me click on back to folder listing and again we'll go to the public html okay so i think i need to set the index.php file with the correct code and we'll have to remove this code from here and uh, in wp this include folder we'll have to remove this htaccess file and same on wp dash admin folder so before it first uh, i will go to the ftp users i think uh, first we need to reset this ftp user password so to do this and uh, i will auto generate okay and uh, i will copy this password and we'll do open my notepad and i will do save it and uh, i will do save username as well okay we'll do click on update okay ftp password is now changed we'll go to the mysql folder and uh, i will reset password of the database to we'll click on generate password and uh, first i need to copy this password and uh, save it to the document okay let me do the apply changes okay now i will go to the file manager and i will do open wp dash config.php in edit mode and uh, what i have to do is i need to update the password of the database because i have reset it so to for database connectivity i will copy this line first we'll paste here copy this new password and i will do paste here and we'll do simply click on save changes okay so now i will refresh this page if no any error then uh, my password change to site is correct i refreshed it and uh, waiting to load okay let me find logout link and here it is i am doing logout it's loading okay let me log in again to check because i have updated the file uh, sorry updated the password in config file okay so i have change the ftp user password and i have changed the database user password so first step is to update the ftp and database password okay so now what i will have to do is i will open this index.php file in edit mode and what 
I will do here. I will do copy this code only. Then back to folder listing and we'll go to the my code editor Visual Studio Code and we'll paste this here and we'll do save this. index.php ok no, sir. now again I will do select index index.php sorry and I will do rename its name first later I will delete this file ok now I have renamed the name of this index.php and now we'll have to upload the index.php which I have already saved in my computer so now I will upload it from here ok so now my new file index.php is uploaded and I will have to see it ok so no here is no any malicious code malicious code file is here and which I have renamed it so now let me go to the dot htaccess file okay okay back to folder listing I will go to the WP this includes folder first open folder and uh, here I will rename this file ok so now again we will go to the public underscore html folder and uh, we will select wp dash admin folder and open folder and uh, going to rename this file dot back okay I will click on rename okay so again public underscore HTML now I'm going to select the WP desk content folder open folder select the dot htaccess file and going to rename it to the back 0709-2022 and rename ok now again going back to the public underscore html and uh, I will removed this file or rename this file and uploaded new index.php with the clean code and uh, updated the new password of database to the wp dash config file ok so now again I will do open this wp dash config.php and uh, we ok here I will write one code this allow underscore file edit and uh, will give value to true and uh, simply I will do save changes ok so now I will go to the admin side of this dashboard and will do reload ok so now dashboard is loading fine so let me first do logout ok 
this login page is also displaying correctly let me log in again okay so what i need to do need to check all pages okay this page is displaying Here it was LECS code only on this file only. So it uh, doesn't take a long time to solve this issue. So guys, if you facing this type of issue, so you can learn from this video how to solve uh, this type of issue, how to check malicious code in your file. Uh, first step, you need to change the, your FTP user password and then go to change to the database username and password so if anybody have collected your password then he can easily hack your site so first you need to strong your control panel or FTP and then database then go to the check to the file and see if any file updated latestly then check code of it and if you see if there is any malicious code or not required file code then you can simply rename this uh, remove this file and upload the correct code of file to the server so this is how i have solved this issue and my client site is now loading correctly so guys if you do like my video then hit the like button share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching